Hey, it's JC here at JC's Comics More, your pop culture superstore, 6725 West Central Avenue. That is Toledo, Ohio, 4361741953160097. JC's Comics More at Hotmail, JC's Comics More on Instagram. Find the Facebook link in the description below. This is Tuesday, July 25th. We've got a new collection, very small collection. I've got my Diamond, DC, and Marvels here. So this is from the collection I just picked up this morning. Got Amazing Spider-Man 363. 365, the first appearance of Spider-Man 2099. Green Lantern, Green Arrow, number 78. This is the only old issue in here. I wish this was 76, but it's number 78. 76 was the first issue with... Uh, by Denny O'Neill, Neil Adams, and Dick Giordano. Infinity Crusade, number one. Infinity War, number five. We've got Spectacular Spider-Man, number 186. And we're going to check this real quick. All right, we're going to have some fun here. Hello? Hello? That's Spider-Man, number eight. Hi, this is Jennifer. How are you doing today? No, you're not. This is number Spider-Man 9, 10, 11. What can I help you with, not Jennifer? There's 12. What can I help you with? How are you wasting my day? Don't hang up now. Don't be like Albert. Got Star Wars 2. This is the hero special. They're going to hang up. Got the Death of Superman, Superman 75, the Black Bagged Edition. We've got Thor 364, 365, 366. Love of Spider Man number 90. And there's Wonder Woman number one by George Perez. This is a wrap around cover. We're going to pause quickly and start with the diamonds. Here we go, we have Alice Never After, number one from Boom Studios. That's the A, there is the B cover. Blade Runner, Blade Runner 2039, number five. I know uh, Mr. Jeff is going to want that. They'll be waiting here for you, sir. Berserker, Poetry of Madness, number one. That's A, B, foil, foil, one and ten variant. By the Horns, Dark Earth, number 11. Children of the Comet, issue 1. I've got some of these on reorder. The ones I have, I think, are pretty much spoken for. That's the cover B. There is the cover C. Maybe a cover C might be available. Count Dante. Creed, as in uh, not the band. Issue number 2. There's... Pretty cool cover there. Got the Dead Lucky from Image. This is issue number seven. Look, it's uh, it's got uh, Ironheart in it. Deja Thoris, number five. Cover A. Linsler on the B. There's a C, D, E, F. What's this here? So, we have, we got the F and G's right there. Everybody loves F and G's. You got yourself an H. I believe that was I. This might be J. Oh, that was N. So, this would be the Lensder O. That is the Lensder O. Followed by the Lensder P. And remember to put the seat down after you're done. Disney Villain Scar, number four. A, B, C, and D. One copy each of those that no one cares about Star very much, so I've cut it way back. I've got Coors Light uh, Werewolf um, partying with uh, Elvira in Monsterland, number three, on cover A. There's the uh, John Rowley cover uh, B. There's the C... There's the D. And there's a variant. And we've got another variant. 
Uh, speaking of Monsterland, I see that uh, Comet is re-showing, is showing Grimm. I didn't realize that they were showing Grimm, the series from several years ago. That was a really good series. I was up uh, last night watching a few of those episodes. Exorcist Never Die, number four. The Expanse Dragon Tooth, number four. That is for Mr. Michael. We've got Firepower, number 25. Frank Frazetta's Mothman, number two. Uh, I was telling Laura here that uh, a friend of mine said he saw a Mothman when he was a kid. I'm not saying he didn't, because I wasn't there. That's the cover B. There's the one in five, like a old ColecoVision or something, Nintendo Vision. There is the one in ten variant. The gimmick, number five, Godzilla Monster and Protectors, Summer Smash. Look at him. I think those kids better get out of the way or really get stepped on. Bad stuff's going to happen to them. That, uh, that moth might, uh, like uh, flying creatures do, poop on them. That is cover B. The 1 in 10. There's Grim Fairy Tales number 74. A, B, C. And that's the D right there. We're going to get that up there in just a minute. There is the cover D. Must be Red Riding Hood, right? Indigo Children, number five. James Bond, 007 for King and Country, number four. The Linster cover and the non Linster cover. Click, click, boom from Image, issue number two. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, 110. I've got an extra copy of 110 now. That uh, customer that was getting that, I think he uh, drove his car off a, uh, into the uh, quarry, from what I uh, understand. Uh, there is that variant, there is a foil variant, and there is another variant that somebody's going to be happy to, to get. Here we got Miracle Kingdom, number two. My Little Pony Camp Big Hoof. I know who likes the Big Hooves. Yes, he's probably checking in some uh, Pepsi products right now. Neighbors, number five, A. And B, ooh, the uh, White Queen guest stars. New Burn, number nine. Seems like it's been a long time since we've seen a copy of that. Nightclub, number six, A and C. Night Walkers, number five. Old Dog, number six. A and B. Pathfinder, Wake the Dead. I've got one copy each of these. Let's and cover C. Here we got Pur Evil. Not pure, it's Pur Evil. Look at him. Look at those cats, man. I know people like those cats. I could never I've owned I owned a cat once. I could never own some hairless cat. They look they look they look terrible. They look like they're sick. They look like you need to put them into a burlap sack and throw them into the river. Put them out of their put them out of their uh, misery. They're all cold all the time and everything. They're miserable looking. That's the B. There is the, I think, Peach Momoko. Yes, Peach Momoko C. There's a really nice cover on the D there. We've got Red Room, Crypto Killer number three. We've got this Red Sonya one, Linsner cover, and that one also. These are San Diego Comic Con exclusives. That's limit to 2,000, limit to 1,000. I've got one copy each left available. The Ribbon Queen from AWA, Garth Ennis. You say no more. Garth Ennis, we don't need to say anything else. I know it's going to be good because Garth does not write crap. And that is the C. And then we've got Rick and Morty. This is number seven, all new jumping off point. I mean, jumping on point. Uh, we're going to pause. And I'm going to grab the next stack. Rivers of London, number one. Here be dragons. Got cover A, and I think this is cover B on that. Yep. We've got Saturday Morning Adventures Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, cover A. It's a new series, it says, but this is issue three, so it's not really a new series. There's cover B, C, the 1 in 10 variant. I have one of these 1 in 10 variants available. Got one available. 
Spawn, Scorch, or Scorch Spawn, however you want to call it. Number 20, A, B, and the Virgin C with uh, She Spawn. The Seasons Have Teeth. Issue 4, Star Storm. Issue 3, A, <clears throat> and B. Star Wars Hyperspace Stories, number 6. Uh, when you work for Jabba the Hutt, Failure is not an option. Uh, there is the B cover. Oh, Greedo. We had, uh, had the actor that played Greedo in my store about 20 years ago. It was nice uh, seeing Paul. Tales from Nottingham, number 6. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Usagi Ujimbo, number 5. A and B. And that is the 1 in 10 variant. Here we got Tenement number 2, which is actually should be called the Bone Orchard Mythos because on my invoice that's what it says. On the indicia on the inside, that's what it says. The Bone Orchard Mythos. But doesn't say that there, does it? In fact, the cover B doesn't even have it anywhere, even on the comic. Way to go, Jeff Lemire. Traveling the Mars, number seven. That's A, I think C, and D. Take off on the Eternals, number one. I wonder if they give Jack King Kirby credit. And I'm not seeing anything on there, so the King gets no credit. No soup for you, Jack. Vaparilla versus the Superpowers, number three. That's A, B, C, Look, Linsner D, we've got E, F, the cosplay F cover, this should be G, so again, we have that proverbial F and G again. Hey, I'm just reading off the alphabet, don't get mad at me, it's not terrible. That's H, that's a Linsner cover on the H. There's a Virgin cosplay I. There's a Virgin J, I believe. And I think K also, right? K. And the Virgin Linsder on the L. Here we've got the Violet Descents, number four. Victory, number two. A, B, C, D. Cosplay E should be another F, F and G. We got, I'll give you three F and G's today. That's how much I care for you guys. And I think that's an H. There's an I. No, nope, that's the O. And the P. Got World Tree number 33, A and B. We also have this Chainsaw Man Buddy Stories that came in. Cartoons number 46 that came in. Special uh, Close Encounters cover. Shutter number 12. And World of Fear. This is a reprint from the 1950s, the pre code stuff, horror stuff in its entirety. We're going to grab the DCs next. Okay, here we have the DC. We got lots of. Uh, Night Terrors Action Comics, Issue 1. These are only two issue series. And look, the uh, Cyborg Superman. Okay. Kind of almost looks uh, very uh, Bruce Campbell ish right there. There's the cover C. Here we've got. Oh, that was out of order. I, I put it out of order. That's on me. Uh, Batman the Audio Adventures, number 7. Let's see if people's paying attention. That was a great Dave Johnson cover. There's a. Is it a dinosaur or is it a giant alligator? The Batman, the Mike Aldrich cover. Batman Brave and Bold number three. And that's the other cover. Those are the only covers I bought. DC Ruby number six. The A covers are gone already. And this cover is spoken for too. So here we've got Night Terrors number one. This is a neon cover. And we got Night Terrors number two. There is cover B. You've got C. Almost looks like a Mike McNola cover. And then you've got the neon cover. 
Night Terrors uh, Detective Comics 1, A, B, Kyle Holtz on the SC. Again, I say it time and time again, Kyle Holtz is the most underrated artist out there. Here we've got Night Terrors Harley Quinn, A, and B. Oh, I did order a C. Poison Ivy Uncovered number one, A, B, and we've got the foil cover. The foil cover is really, really cool. Superman, The Last Days of Lex Luthor. This is a black label comic. A, B, and C. We're going to pause and grab the Marvels next. It's Marvels, Amazing Spider-Man 30. This was a decent enough story. There's a Mike Volsberg cover. We've got a Scotty Young cover. Avengers Beyond number 5. Cosmic Ghost Rider number 5, last issue. The issue 5 is on a lot of these are the last issues. Cult of Carnage Misery. Uh, Deadpool number 9. Ghost Rider 16. There's a variant cover on Ghost Rider 16. Almost looks like it could be a Hellraiser cover. Invincible Iron Man number 8. There's a George Perez cover. Several George Perez covers like the She Hulk 15. Spider-Man India 2, Star Wars Darth Vader, Black, White, and Red, number 4, A and B. Star Wars Mandalorian, number 2, Ultimate Invasion, number 2. we got Venom, number 23. Multiple covers on the Venom. There's a George Perez cover. I guess there's Black Widow. Interesting. Got What If, Dark, Spider-Gwen. I read this. It had a lot of uh, reprinted, some of the stuff from Amazing, uh, 122 at the beginning there, and uh, actually 121 at the beginning. But the story, I just didn't buy the story. Uh, she didn't, uh, I'd have to go back again. Maybe she gave herself powers. That somebody can't just put on a Spider-Man suit and put the web, web shooters on them and start swinging around that your body, your upper body strength just isn't there. I'm sorry. <coughs> There's that cover. Wolverine 35. Uh, X-Men Hellfire Gala number one, one shot. And then there's the George Perez, or George Perez Havoc and Polaris cover. If you do like these videos, as always, subscribe to the channel. If you've not subscribed to the channel yet, hit the bells for notification. Like, comment, and share. Other than that, have a great New Comics Wednesday. Appreciate it.